Good day, all my dear friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. This dump truck is from Lesu and it is a Flexo 8 driven. We just got it painted and assembled. As you see, later I will explain you the details. We got uh, and put extra lights and upgrade parts. Uh, we will see each one by one. So, this is a main dump truck, and uh, we will start to see the functions. Already I put battery inside the radio on. Let's first switch on the light. Let's see. This top turning light and this is a fog light. One more. Headlights on and also from side, the side warning light, back side have the light and the turning signal lights, one turning, you see, turn left, turn right, okay, also one backward will have the warning light, you will see, backward, and the warning sound, okay, that's the light, so we will switch on the sound, here is the the whistle, the horn, and the engine sound, imitating real one. And the sound on. So let's see the timing. Backward, second time we will start moving. So the oil in and out are from this hose. So it is controlled by the turning direction by the motor to go inside the oil or make suction the oil. It's only different turning from the motor. So when go now go downside, it's turning this way. When go up, 
it's turning that way, so different direction. Okay, so we will do this arc already top position. One thing you should remember is why I set in this only 65% because this one got no pressure release really so well. So when it reaches the end point, the, the oil will be nowhere to go, we are rising the pressure a lot. So when you reach the end, top end or bottom end, stop. Yeah, no, keep it running a long time. It's a risk for burst out the hose. Okay, let it go down. Also, in the front, we add one wrench. Let's pull it out. So when turning, release it, the motor turning. I'm controlling with this one. Okay, we take it back. So now, if this is a small motor, so if I, turn, I pull too much, we will be turning slowly. If I re release a little, the uh, dragging it will turn a little more fast. That's the range. So also this one later we will see all the details. So we put headlights, this uh, handbar, exhaust pipe, and the more light, and other protection bar here. And uh, we will see all the details for what we add to it. So now I will lift up the damper and uh, we will see the details. So for some customer, if you think it's too slow, actually you can increase a little the pump speed, let's say 70%, 75%, will be more quick to lift up or push it down. Okay, now we will see the details of this one. I will be switch off the sound. Okay, let's see it. So from the rear side we start. The rear side we got here the the bumper. It's a metal one, and with this tooling, this one already block a little bit. Anyway, just in position here. If this bumper moving more up, and this rear tall, this side. Going down a little more, we'll be touching this this tooling part. So this one you can after lift up, you can lift up and hook up something for tooling. And there are the lights. So here is the door for the bucket. It is after lift up the bucket, release this locking here as pin you see. I press with my hand, it will be locked. So when it is sitting. On the chassis, this one will be locked like this. Come to this side, you will see my hand pushing, now it is locked. So when the bucket lift up, it will be unlocked. Okay, that's the bucket door. So here we got this middle position cylinder, multiple level, one, two, three, four, five, and uh, secured by this, this loop, this ring got the screw here and this one containing so when lift up this one this angle of the cylinder will be turning freely okay so here is the brushless motor yeah, is it brushless yes three wires i can feel with my hands three wires it's brushless motor and here is the pump uh, inlet and outlet here so the oil tank is here, here is the filling up, I will hold the light, you can see clearly. Here is the filling up cap, here is the vent, air going down there. So sometimes if you fill up too much, uh, when moving the pump, have air coming, will be air going down from here. Also maybe take out some oil if you fill up too much. So bottom got one hose, that's for suction. Let's go to see here, we got the, the girder for the matches, the girder, and uh, this is for secure, let's secure this bucket, we are sit here to, so not shaking after sitting here, 
it's holding the bucket in position. Here we got say the, this last CVD is from the transmission gear box. So this is the box with two speed gear. Now you see this one, the servo, and this connecting rod for the speed changing, this connecting rod inside, we will move it, you will see. So now this one is at low speed, middle, that's a neutral position. This is the high speed position, neutral, low, okay, that's for the speed changing. So you see this one is a metal bar for connecting, secure this exhaust pipe. This one got a flap here, open, closed, <laughs> like a real one. So it's connected to this metal box, it is all stainless steel. This one is alloy. Okay, so now we will open the cabin to see inside. So here this is the battery. 5200mAh, put it inside, this one is the receiver sitting here and inside we put one speaker on the top of roof inside, here you can now see it and also the light and the sound board it is at inside at the back side of this wall it's sticking there Okay, this is the cabin. So under there, you see we are, that's the ESC for the driver motor. Now I will put this cabin to close it. So this wires for the battery a little bit long, so pu push to the middle, so it will be easier to close it. Lock it. Let's see the cabin. Here the door cannot open, only the glass. Here is the handrail when driver going up, holding here, secured on the top, the turning light, and this fence, and this windshield. This man, not so clear to see, it's all black. <laughs> okay, so front we got all these three light, one yellow, two uh, white light. This one is a metal plate so to, for the seat of this, it's the seat of this winch. So this all part is all metal. Okay, so we will see the downside what we have there from the chassis. Here, the mud guard is stainless steel and the alloy hub. Here is uh, a toolbox under there should be some air bottle for breaking, but it's only for imitating real one, yeah? This is a metal frame for protection, also could be a ladder for men to, cl for men to climb up. Okay, this is a uh, light and this, this bar is metal for securing the light. Uh, this one, the mark guard, is a plastic one and uh, secured by these two metal bar. In the front, this one is a plastic urine box, and there one more metal box down there. This we will see details there. So both front two axles are for steering. So here is the connecting road to connect the front through axle for steering. This is the rock arm, and the connecting road connect to the front. I have to open the cabin again to show you this one. From here will be easier to see. Down here from this angle. Let's see. So this connecting road connect to the servo there. And uh, this one is another connecting road connect to the front axle for steering turning. So this white plastic, this one is the servo rock arm connecting the connect road to this rock arm and uh, it's both connected to the front axle and the front through axle. So I will turn a little, you will see. See how it's moving. So one thing is, I will show you now the settings of the radio because it's important for the servo. Let's say unlock it, come to see this. Unlock, keep pressing. So. Settings of servo is very important because if you are setting too much moving of the servo, it, it, the, let's see, let's see from here, I will explain again. If you're turning, 
you setting too much if turning a lot already reached the dead point let's say the tire stuck with the suspension and the servo still pushing pushing so the servo will be getting hot and later maybe dead burn out maybe let's see the settings from here the radio so the end point let's see this one is uh, channel one okay end point so channel one is 50 percent I already checked if you increase the move the, the movement of the servo for this steering if you increase more you turning the tire will touch the suspension and when you going it will be stuck there maybe damage the servo another thing is let's see for the channel 7 yeah channel 7 is for the uh, speed changing gear so this servo also that should be adjusted so I set the low speed position so 70% and when reaching to the another way 60% if I increase more uh, the connecting road for this here the connecting road this one for the speed changing now it is 70% for the low speed side let's see middle speed uh, neutral position high speed high speed 60% if I increase more it will be pushing more and uh, already reached the end so cannot move the servo will be burned another side 70% if I increase more it keep pulling from the servo but this connecting road already reached end cannot move so also the servo will be broken so have to first when you set in from the radio you can test let's say you keep a little low let's say 40 percent 40 percent both so you you try to move engage to see if the gear engage at low and neutral and high speed if all the position good until you reach the position good that's enough so no more increase for this servo okay that's the setting for this servo we'll go back again to see the details so steering we already see it we will close this cabin mark it another side we will see from this side we turn it around so from this side we will see more clearly for this exhaust pipe with this top open flaps okay downside is the alloy metal box and uh, this front wheel and from uh, the window you can see inside the wires and the uh, ESC battery there we will see a little bit from here you see got this another servo with four wires connected down there that's for the differential lock so one servo pulling four differential lock for four axle okay we keep seeing mud guard plastic hub and the oil tank and uh, this protecting bar same like a leather and uh, this side the mud guard stainless steel so that's all for this side of the chassis we will see from the bottom from bottom let's first see this servo for the differential lock, I will move it so you can see coming from this, this angle you will see more so now it is on differential unlock turn it, you will see the servo turning also these wires for the differential lock pulling okay unlocked, locked it will be same for another axle and also rear axle that's a differential lock so like this we will see again now it's unlocked I will drive forward it's turning on other side the wheels are free I will lock it now locked when driving again 
is locked and it will be all wheels turning so it's going forward and backward okay keep it unlocked let's see more details of the axle not so clear so here is the transmission gearbox from bottom and uh, go a little front that's the speed reducing box and connecting the to the motor in the front the motor is a brushless motor it is so inside so cannot see clearly we will keep moving to see other parts okay so here we got coming to the middle here we got the uh, transfer case here so transfer the power from transmission gearbox this connecting road this drive CVD come here and uh, separate to two one to front axles one to rear axles so this one got no differential lock it is only a transfer case to transfer the power so here come to the rear axle with differential lock and the more connecting road each side also from top uh, connecting to the this beam in the middle you see the beam got the V shape this connecting road also this one V shape connecting road connecting the axle to the beam downside is secured by this two connecting road to this uh, bracket and uh, there we got the metal spring plate for suspension effect I will move a little from side you will see the suspension how moving this is the suspension okay this is rear side also got this bridge like this bracket holding the the metal plate yeah okay so for more here we got the rear side is the bumper this bumper connecting here with directly to the rear side is the beam and this angle we can see clearly this the tooling junction with a pin inside can pull in by hand okay I will keep this down so that's all from the chassis what we can see there let's move it we will start it to move a little bit more to see it this is the sound from the back side the door and then start it put to neutral position we will hear the engine sound really also this sound can be increased this volume switch is inside the cabin under the outer open you can turn it to increase or decrease the sound okay let's put the low speed gear and the driver and put down the bucket here you also see the ladders or metal wire and this spare tire with the hub same, same as others here can be changed So this one, as you see from the, the bucket, I, I, if I knock, you will see the plate is thick and strong. So I also this car is heavy because the bucket is all metal and the chassis is almost all metal. Only the mud guard, this one is plastic. So front this cabin is plastic and uh, only the cabin, the window, this seat downside of the, 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 the light this all plastic and uh, also we got some metal decorations here the ladders the step platform okay. so what's more for we already see other parts with metal already explained to you some are metal some are stainless the axle are made of CNC and this one is uh, dichroist. Let's drive a little bit more to see the functions, and that's all for this truck. Moving. Turning. I really 
example, I can bring this half the door to show you the functions. So later, I will try to arrange, put this truck, double truck, or some trailer, pack, or excavator bring to on the mountain. There are some woods, and with rocks, mud, we can play there to show you. This is the Foxo X driver main dump truck from Lesho, and uh, this painting could be changed as you like. This painting we died, assemble we died, and also what you can think of to put upgrades the decoration parts. We will put it as you like and the painting as you like. So, what's your suggestions? How you like this one done, assembled? What kind of radio you like? or can be customized for you. So come to me, I will customize as you like. Thank you very much, we will see each other again.